and welcome to Married with Clicks. Today we have a fun 500 point game for you. Uh, the team that I'm going to be playing today is actually the one that I built this past week during uh, my Facebook Live video for Team Building Tuesday, whatever we want to start calling that. Uh, and that was the monster team for anyone that wasn't watching that video or hasn't caught it since then. Uh, it is based around a 200 point Windigo uh, because I have n had not played Windigo at that point and I wanted to see what I could do with him. Uh, it has the Immortal Hulk, the Prime Parasite from the Justice League Unlimited set, Ink from the Batman animated set, and Blade. Now, all of these were chosen strictly because they had the monster keyword. I have actually played this team three times now, twice now, and uh, the first two times did not go well. So hopefully this will be a little bit better now that I'm a little more familiar with the team, which is something a little bit different than what we usually do where I am normally just throwing something together and you guys get to see me figure it out. So I have a little bit more idea of how this team actually plays, but it still probably won't go well. Um, unfortunately with this team, it does not have any probability control naturally on it. And with being a monster themed team, which is a generic keyword, it doesn't have any theme team prob on it. So I kind of have to just go with whatever is there and focus probably a little bit more on Immortal Hulk killing things than trying to get Windigo right in the thick of it. So on the same Tuesday that Amber built her team, I came up with my team and we were gonna film a Patreon game for it. It's very hot today, very sweaty, and I'm very sunburned right now, so we have to delay that game. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna play with these teams again. Um, my team was Soldier. Uh, I went for a modern Soldier team just to see what's what and how things are going with it, uh, with as far as the keyword is concerned. And it gave me an excuse to use my pile of men known as Madrox. Uh, it's raining men, and this is a puddle, baby. <laughs> Playing him at 200 points, because why not? This is silly. It's a silly, fun 500-point uh, game, so it doesn't matter for anything. Uh, it's also why I'm using War Machine. Um, <laughs> He's great. He's got a great dial on paper. Um, I can't wait to see if I can actually make him work, though. Uh, <laughs> the main reason I am playing this team um, is because I'm slapping the Crimson Avenger on. Um, originally one week we were going to play, I had a team with the Justice League playing with the Crimson Avenger, but Amber forgot to bring the Crimson Avenger with her. So we're going to see how he does. Uh, also have Captain America Resilient. Uh, I'm going to try to play a little bit more careful with him than I have in the past. Uh, title characters do have, the, of course, their downsides, and i got to try to avoid that coming up. Uh, this also has the common Nick Fury from Captain America. He's 75 points. He is a leader that makes shield agents. I also have a shield agent on the team to start to make up the extra 15 points that I had. Uh, and, of course, this team does what Jason's team do. Uh, makes dudes that didn't start on the game. Started the game on the map. Uh, so we'll see how that all goes. At the time. I don't know why, but I got all the cards for the shield agents. <laughs> At least you have a card for all of them. Um, I have a plus five to my theme team, and I hold up like a... You have a plus five. Well, I've got a plus six on my theme team. I rolled a five, so... You are actually going first? I am going first. Okay, let's make sure Wendigo is on the correct uh, line, which she does not. Has that been a problem? No, I was just, I was spinning it while I was talking. Uh, and put it ended up spinning past the string line I needed to be on. Right. Well, I get to start with two mantras. Two duplins. Crimson Avenger. Do, 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 do. Mm. Let's start with Shield Agent at. You do you start at that starting line. You don't start at that starting line. You start over here. 
Do I still have your smoke or did I give them back? No, you give it back to me. Okay, I need them again. Because I haven't had a chance to go through all of our stuff and get my smoke clouds back and change this from a barrier filled landfill. Yeah, what? Oh, it was Tri Sentinel. It was, my, it was. was my Tri Sentinel team that also had two guys that had barrier. Yeah, that's why you had an entire container of all right. barrier tokens. Got all the stuff set up. Am I going to use objects? I guess I should just put objects on. That makes sense, right? There's no harm in putting down three light objects. I mean, there is harm if you hit me with them. Fair. <laughs> that would mean I have to successfully attack you. <laughs> I wonder what that's like. All right. Uh, let's get this show Where on the road, is shall we? It? All right. Now, I'm just trying to figure out if the, the dupes don't get any of his powers, and they are not autonomous, which is nonsense. You should have all of his powers. All right. And you should be like the hare. <laughs> oh, I'm going to roll my leadership to start my turn because the serious leadership can do something. That is a three. That's not going to get me anything. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah. Dupe. Dupe. These are the Madrox dupes. Those two actions, three actions. It's there. I'm not making any excuses for you. You should. No, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna grab the Crimson Avengers. Gonna grab the table. Four actions. I'm going to carry. Uh, Captain America Resilient to there. My fifth action. Uh, one, two, and three perplexes are all going to go into War Machine. War Machine can only target himself with his perplex. Okay. Um, yeah, so perplex on Captain Resilient, uh, perplex on Crimson Avenger, and perplex on War Machine. That uh, should give me enough time to add that in. <laughs> uh, and then one, two, three, four, five. Six, uh, six action. We're gonna put Nick Fury here, and leave the Shield Agent all off on his own. Uh, and we've done all the perplexing, so it is your turn. All right. I don't have any beginning of the turn effects. Yeah. Um, we are gonna use uh, Ink's free. Action to choose a uh, stealth shape change in tiny size. Okay. And she's going to sidestep. Yeah. And then come up into this conveyor belt here and hide. <laughs> she's hiding in a conveyor belt. Okay. And blades going on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going to pick up this wheel and hide in the barrels. He is also traded stealth, so he is stealth, he is stealth. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> oh, I have well, one. I only have sidestep if someone has been wounded. So you do not currently have sidestep. You are actually going to stay where you are. Mm -hmm. This time, you are not on the right. Click. Yeah, he should be Bruce Banner right now. Yeah. And he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Standing on the manhole cover. Parasite's going to come join him. Hmm. And I don't have any free action. He can't see anybody for a wit, so it's your turn. Okay. Uh, start of my turn, I'm going to roll leadership for Nick Fury. Uh, it's a one. He is a terrible leader, and he is not making shield any time soon. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I would need an eighth one for range. Do you end up paying more points to start with dupes? Is that no, no. To, to uh, he starts start with uh, a number based on how many points he is. Oh, okay. So because he's 200 points, he starts with two. Nice. Uh, so, War Machine is going to have... I 
don't think I have line of fire. No, I do on War Machine. Um, Crimson Avenger is going to perplex up War Machine's attack. Yeah. Captain America is going to perplex up War Machine's attack. Uh, does she have energy shield? Uh, yes, it's Super Sense's energy shield. So I'm going to perplex up his attack a third time. And then I'm going to running shot, ignoring, hindering with my line of fire with War Machine. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to shoot at ink. Okay. So that'll be a 14 attack on your order 19 defense? Yes. Okay. That is a 7. This is enough to hit, but is it enough to get through them super senses? It Not is. A, okay, so super senses. Because she doesn't have any one. special super senses. That was a 4. So okay. How much damage are you doing? Uh, that is 4 damage. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4. Well then, well. Okay, so now you have a target lock token. Oh, I totally missed it. She had shape change. Okay. Oh. Sorry, that's part of the the trait that I chose with the stealth and shape change and tiny size. My bad. That's okay. I totally missed it. Okay. <laughs> um, but you now have a target lock token on you. Okay. So, beep, 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 beep. And I'm also going to take a free... Make a range attack using War Machine's printed attack and damage values, but only to target the character with the target lock token. Okay, well this time I'll remember. Shape change? Shape change. Yep. Okay. That's a one. So, but I can only use my printed value, so it's an 11 attack on, what's your defense right now? So it's uh, 16, but I'm tiny sized and you're doing range, so 17? Okay. I forgot tiny size on the includer on the last yeah. time. But you hit, you had enough. At a two. seven on your 20, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so 11 on a... Sir, you don't have energy shield this time? No. But you're tiny. So I'm 11 on 17. Yeah. And you use 6. And that's a 9 to annihilate ink. He's so good when he hits. <laughs> Look at him doing things. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Eh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to actually get the shield agent there. Great this turn. Um, and we are going to, one, two, three, four, pop smoke, because I can, here. for free. I'm using Crimson Avengers Smoke, mm -hmm. which is Smoke Cloud for free, but only to place four markers. Um, it'll do what it does. And, uh, uh, well, give me a clear on the rest of these guys, and it is your turn. Alright. Apologies for the long turn there. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go up to here. Leadership with Nick Fury. That's a one again. I have a feeling Nick Fury's leadership is not going to come up for the rest of this game somehow. Uh, I think I'm also going to kind of take it easy, um, but I will do a bunch of perplexing on certain things. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, Captain America Resilience is going to perplex up Madrox's defense. One, two, three, four. Madrox is going to move over here. Mm -hmm. uh, the Madrox dupes are each going to move over here. Uh, actually, yeah, they're going to move over here. Crimson Avengers is going to perplex up Madrox's defense. More Machine is going to perplex up his own defense. And I'm going to clear there. Go ahead. All right. to ignore his hindering when moving. Yep. And he's going to hop over to this barrel. What's up? <laughs> Blade, what are you doing? Blade, why are you looking at me with the teeth? Being sneaky. Shh. I'm sneaking near the person who ignores hindering for line of fire.
got to be difficult because you got a fairly close combat focused team. Yeah, so, like, uh, I mean, I could go right up to War Machine, but what's that going to do for me? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter where I am positioned right now, like, you're able to overcome, once again, a more, you have a ranged heavy hitter versus a lot of my melee guys. Yeah. Which is a problem I was running into, uh, not last game, but I think the game before that. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, Parasite's gonna move all the way up here. And Hulk's gonna come up here too. And we will clear when to go, and it is your turn to blast Blade in the face. <laughs> Could have taken that back. <laughs> no, I'm leaning full into that mistake. Alright. Uh, leadership with Nick Fury is not successful. Um. I'm going to move Crimson Avenger to here. Still carrying the table. Crimson Avenger, get the table! <laughs> and then he's going to pop Smoke Cloud. His first marker here when his line of fire. And then... Do it like that. But I'm going to give the action token to Parasite. It's indomitable, so he's not going to take any push in. Um, that also means he's not going to try and charge you next turn. Yeah. Not that he could. Uh, Captain America's going to perplex up War Machine's attack. Uh -huh. War Machine's going to perplex up his own attack. Uh -huh. He's going to running shot over to here. One, two, three, four, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 13 attack on your 18, 18. defense yep. with Psychic Blast. Five. And that is a five with this ten. <laughs> That's for four psychic blast. Yep. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now he's got a target lock token. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now with just my base stats, eleven on seventeen. Yep. I need a six. That's well, critical hey. hit. Hi, <laughs> Blade. Thanks for coming out. I take back all the mean things they said about you, War Machine. He just had to prove himself. That's all this is. <laughs> He's just like, oh man, I would have been so good if he would have used those target lock tokens. I'm like, I got all these things that are really cool, guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of rough. You don't, it, after the last conversation you had, you didn't want to overcommit the Wendigo, but and then you're fully like... undercommitting your entire team. <laughs> I hate this map, too. <laughs> um, whatever. <laughs> you guys, we got a Wendigo problem. Not yet. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, there. In your turn. Alright. So my smoke clouds go away. Go away. Alright. Nick Fury is going to roll for leadership. Right. Rolls a one. <laughs> go Nick Fury and your leadership -y ways. <laughs> You're a fantastic leader. Never change, sir. We love you, Nick. Uh, I'm going to get weird, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm going to perplex up War Machine's attack with Captain America Resilient. I'm going to perplex it again with War Machine. Mm -hmm. War Machine is going to running shot, carrying the Madrox to, to here. Okay. To here. To here. I'm just... There's reasons for all of this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, I trust you. 13 attack with Psychic Blast on the Wendigo. I need a 5. That's a 6. 
And that will hit for four penetrating damage. Yep. He has a target lock token now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 11 attack on an 18 defense. I need a seven. That's a seven. That will hit for four, no penetration. So two damage because of indubitable. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Madrox. Going to sidestep to here. Um, then he's going to attack. Ten on seventeen here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm actually a yellow. Gen. I need a seven to hit. That's a four. Hey, you missed. Right. This is what happens. So <laughs> what happens when I miss? All right. Um, got a smoke cloud again. Putting the token on Parasite. Oh. Um, okay. Captain America Resilient is going to running shot to here. 12 attack on your 17 defense. I need 5 to hit. It's a 9, and that will hit for 3. You take 1. And then Captain America will use his Journey of Failure and Redemption uh, plot point. To move one square to make a close attack gives me plus one plus. Points. So 12 on 17. Yep. I need a 5. That's a 6, mm-hmm. so that will hit. For 3, you take 1 again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just realized Nick Fury had a win. Um, so uh, maybe a slight stay of nonsense for you. Uh, 1, 2, 3. Still have some actions. Um, Nick Fury's gonna outwit toughness and shoot you. Uh-huh. 11 attack on 17 defense. I need a 6. That's a 9. How much? 4 3. Sorry. Okay. And then I will clear Crimson Avenger and pass it to you. Hi, stop click. Yep. Your turn? Uh huh. Uh, we're going to flurry something. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with fl- with the Duke. All right, flurry to Duke. Got steel energy traded, so. Yep. Right, I do. Right. <laughs> Am I reading the wrong character? Hold on. You do. You have it on that click. I know that. Yeah, there it is. Fossil stamina, steel energy. When Wendigo uses steel energy, he may mail heal past his starting one. Yep. Alright. Well, we're nowhere near that right now. Oh my gosh, no. Um, I need a five to try and stay alive. Yep. Ooh. That's a four. That's okay. a four. This is not going well. <laughs> Second attack. You're flurrying, right? I am flurrying. Alright. That was something. Your name is Puddles. But unfortunately, because that's dead, it doesn't have a wounded token. So... <laughs> no extra attacks. Is there anything else I can be doing right now? I am not in a position. Parasite has an action token, right? Because of the smoke? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I don't... Uh, either I missed it or it wasn't declared. I think you missed it. I probably just missed it. Um. Well, you have four movement out of there, right? Because uh, you don't ignore hindering, do you? Unless you have like leap climb. Then no, I... no, I don't have anything that's going to help me right now. Okay. Where are you going? Away from you! <laughs> Why? You really need to ask. <laughs> um, yep, that's that's my turn. But why? <laughs> Alright. Um, leadership with Nick Fury. 
That's his first successful leadership, and I'm not going to make a guy. I'm going to take an action token off of Madrox. Who, this turn, is going to get his attack perplexed up by Captain America Resilient, and attack perplexed up by, no, damage perplexed up by Crimson Avenger. Uh, 11 attack against your 18 defense. I need a 7, and that will hit with Madrox, and that was a close combat attack, that makes a Madrox. I'm assuming you did more than 2 damage. I did 3 damage. Yeah. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. no, okay, so I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to move over here with Crimson Avenger. Go away. <laughs> Stop it! What, what, the guy in the red cloak! What, what red cloak? <laughs> He's going to pop smoke, putting one action token on Immortal Hulk. I probably should mention the fact that I pushed the Immortal Hulk because he had Earthbound, so he didn't actually have his Indomitable. Yeah, his Indomitable wouldn't work. Um, I'm pretty sure War Machine cleared last turn, but I messed up. So, no, I didn't. I shot you twice with him, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> did. Let's see, we need four. One, two, three, four, okay. Um... Captain America's gonna perplex up his range? Uh-huh. Two, three, four. He's gonna try to shoot at a parasite. Shape change. Shape change it. No, that was a two. Twelve on an eighteen, because of the hinder, and he's six. That's a four. Hits or misses actually uh, mean something here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go here. Um, I'm gonna sidestep with Madrox to here. Two, three. I'm gonna move him to here, and then we're going to clear to clear, and it is your turn. Watch this. Wait for it. I'm I'm, I'm waiting in bated breath. <laughs> it was the most epic turn you will get out of me out of this game. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, leadership from Nick Fury. That's a four. That's a miss. Um, I'm going to perplex up War Machine's movement. Uh huh. He's going to running shot to here. Uh huh. Targeting Parasite. Parasite's going to shape change, maybe. No. Nope. That's that was a four. a four. 11 on 17 with second blast. Yep. Six. That's a hit for uh -huh. four. Yep. Oh, one, two, three, four. You have a target marker. Uh-huh. 11 attack on 16 defense. I need a five. Yep. And that'll hit. Uh -huh. I will put two vengeance tokens in the hole, won't it? Yes. Because the character who's being shot has to... As see. long as he sees the person being attacked, yeah. Yeah. Or being damaged, rather. Okay. On that note, smoke club. I mean, it's not gonna. Oops, sorry, it's not gonna do too much. Uh, actually, I really like that because I believe you ignore hindering for movement. But I will put an action token on you. That's gonna slow you down a little. Um, action token on the Hulk. Uh huh. And perplex up defense. Perplex up defense. And clear, and clear, and clear everybody else. It's cute that you think I'm going up the war machine. I mean, you never know. Charge. We're okay. taking down the Crimson Avenger. So your attack is minus one right now because you're in the smoke. Yep. So I'm at an 11 on your 19 because of the combat reflexes. That's right. 
That's a four. That's a four. That is not the eight that I needed. Nope. But you do have two vengeance tokens. I do. Um, and I will remove them, and because of the crazy circumstance of the fact that I am punching up a set of stairs <laughs> to attack you... This is what you mean, to, kids, when you say punch up. I don't have to break away to no, activate this charge. What's up? You're still going after Crimson Avenger? Yeah. Gotta kill them 30 points. To die. These 30 points need this to die. This thing has been shutting down my team. Have you not been paying attention? I kind of have. That's fine. <laughs> it would have been the same thing going after a war. Yeah. Team, so... Uh, that was a reaction, so your turn. All right, so my, sm- my smoke cloud goes away. Uh, uh, Captain America, uh, you are currently no, your defense power is protected that way anyway. Um, so I'm going to running shot with Captain America to here. Mm-hmm. Uh. 12 on your 18? Yes. Invincible, right? Yes. Okay, so I need a 6 to hit. That's a 9, so that'll hit. For a 3, you take 1. I will take 1. Okay. Now, that's indomitable, but you're 1. Now you're just protected outwit because of the special damage power. Yes. And that also gives you outwit. Yes, it does. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This magic is going to go here. Mm-hmm. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. This Madrox dupe is gonna go here. After I perplex up attack, I'm gonna perplex up attack. Uh huh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You go here, Madrox. And then I'm going to go for another plus one plot point. Mm-hmm. To move one, and then make a close attack with plus... Oh, no, he couldn't perplex up anyway, so he's going to perplex up his own attack. He's going to perplex up the attack. So it's just 14 attack on 18. 18. I need a 4 yeah. to hit. That's that 5. five. It's going to hit. So you have impervious. Yes, I do. And that was a 1. All right. You're dealing five damage because you're adjacent to two in power, guys. That's right. So you'll take so three. I will take three. One, a two, and a three. That's the first time he's died so far this game. So he goes back to quick number one, and you have to do that two more times. And you've got two vengeance tokens because you're with a line of fire yourself and you're friendly to yourself. Yes. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, Crimson Avenger is going to move down here. Because nonsense. Uh, and then I'm going to smoke here, 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 and here. For all that matters. Mm-hmm. I would give you the action token, but there's no additional effect for the extra action token. So yeah. I say Hulk. Hulk doesn't take an action token because he's already got two. And then um, I will clear War Machine. And pass it on to you. Um, I'll outwit Captain America's perplex. Okay. And clear myself. All right. So you're currently on a Bruce Banner click, right? Yes. All right. Well, Crimson Avenger's going to use poison. Fair enough. <laughs> Can I see the Hulk again? <laughs> I want to see the Hulk. Where'd the green guy go? Where's... All right. Crimson Avenger is going to perplex down the Immortal Hulk's defense. Yep. Captain America is going to perplex down the Immortal oh, Hulk's defense. Oh, I lost my outfit. Does that not allow me to do that? No, no, no. I said, oh, I lost my outwit. Oh, yeah. I outwitted your perplex. Yeah. And I was about to stop you and then realized I lost my outwit. Yeah. Uh, so Captain America is going to attack the Hulk. Yeah. It's going to be a 12 against minus 2 to your defense. So 16. I need a four. I need a four. That is a five. Yep. I will take three. You'll take three, because regardless, you're invincible, and it is five damage. Okay. Currently indomitable, or currently impervious. Yep. 17 defense. I'm going to perplex up, attack on War Machine. Uh Uh-huh. He's going to running shot to here. Yep. Uh, 12 attack on 17 defense of Psychic Blast. That is a hit. Okay. One more time. 
<laughs> you are target locked. Second attack. 11 on 15. That is a 6. That will hit for 4, which becomes 1 anyway. And then I will smoke. That's, yeah, you've got a ton of vengeance tokens right now. And pop an action token on you. And clear the Crimson Avenger and the Madrox dupes and Madrox. And it is your turn. Unfortunately, my stop click is not the click that has outwit again. It's like the one click on the dial that doesn't have outwit. Yeah. Uh, oops. Okay. I should have done the plus one on Captain here. Oh, well. We will attack Captain America. Because it's an 18 versus Crimson Avengers 19. Yep. I need a six. Okay. That will hit. For four? Yes. Oof. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to spend some of my vengeance tokens, which I think was supposed to be at five. Yep. Um, to attempt to break away charge. Yep. It's not a success. No, break that away. is a one. That, yep. <laughs> Alright. Your turn. My turn. Alright. You are currently invincible. Yes. Can't do anything about that. Captain America is double token. Not much I can do about that. Nick Fury uh, is going to use leadership. That's a three. <laughs> uh, he's made one leadership roll all game and I used it to remove an action token. Um... Crimson Avenger is finally going to use this object in his hand. He's going to perplex <laughs> down defense on uh, the Hulk. Yep. And Crimson Avenger is going to use the table. 10 against an 8. Uh, 17. 10 against 17. Yep. And he is 7. That's a critical hit. Crimson Avenger, FTW. Uh, so that's for 4. That would be 4 so damage with the object in Yeah. Why <laughs> Crimson Avenger is the 30 point MVP of my team. Uh, and I'm going to Psychic Blast with War Machine with yep. Perplexed Up Attack. So it'll be 12 attack against minus one to your defense right now. Yeah, right? so 17. I need a 5 with War Machine. That hits for 4 penetrating. Yeah. That's game. That's a game. That was brutal. That was Perplex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't really have too much, too many nice things to say about how that game went. Um, uh, the fact that I've actually played against this team before actually was more detrimental to me. Um, because the last time I played against this team, I went like whole hog on the Madrox. So this time around, I was like, well, I'm not going to make that mistake again, and I'm not going to throw Windigo at Madrox. But that also meant that as I was just trying to, like, work around the map itself and maneuver around, I didn't come into play the last time that I played against War Machine that he ignores hindering. And so, like, Ink just was obliterated. And then there... I uh, made the very obviously bad positioning with Blade to just hand him to War Machine. And being stubborn, I didn't want to take that that move back. Um, so we kind of played that up as a joke, but it was also just like, I... I should have been paying more attention and I didn't. So, um, but then of course, that, that was the first critical hit of the game. Was against Blade, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Windigo's just been... I have not had any good experiences with Windigo, and it's not that he's a bad character. There's nothing intrinsically bad about Windigo, even at a higher point. It's just... Uh, as we, we were... I think we were talking about this on um, our last Saturday, just chit-chatting while doing chores, um, was that Windigo, even at 200 points he's doesn't fare well when he's up against 500 points and that's kind of what happened here where 
uh, he went in and admittedly, I know I shouldn't have just put him in Jason's team. I was frustrated. I did that because I was like, fine, whatever. <laughs> I just want him in the game. And uh, Jason's team was able to basically take him out in one turn. And then when I had the chance to essentially retaliate from that, I, I missed a uh, five. <laughs> just, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I like three, three out of my four characters didn't get to attack. One of them got to attack and missed. And then Hulk was able to kind of do stuff, but also missed a lot of attacks as well. As well. So there was a mixture of frustration and just not paying attention, but also just a lot of bad dice, which was adding to the frustration and just not make everything about that went wrong for me. Um, yeah, that's about it. Everything just went wrong. <laughs> So kind of along the lines of what Amber said, everything went wrong for her and everything went so right on my team that it was that it didn't even look fair. Um, like I said, Amber, I guess, it didn't come up when we played previously, but yeah, War Machine ignores Hindering for Line of Fire. So when he was able, and you know, the last time we played, War Machine didn't hit, which means he didn't get to use the target lock tokens because you don't get to use those on people you miss. <laughs> it's, and that is the drastic difference between War Machine when he hits and War Machine when he doesn't hit. I'm just able to obliterate things. It's like he's able to do eight damage in a single turn without touching his damage for the first attack. Like it's absolutely bonkers how much potential damage War Machine is sitting on. Like, I want to make sure I'm using that right and we don't have to refilm this because I completely cheated. But it's like, uh, you can give him a dark free, make a range attack using his printed damage. Yeah. So, like, you hit him, they get a target lock token. Then free, make a range attack using War Machine's printed attack and damage values, but only didn't target the character with his target lock token. Okay, his starting printed da attack and damage is 11-4. Like, Sure, i probably done a ton of damage if I hit you with the first click, so I'm okay with that. Um, and I think War Machine did a lot of heavy lifting this time around, alongside Crimson Avenger holding off 150 points worth of Amber's team with his smoke clouds. <laughs> it's like, somebody's coming over there, I got this. No, you can't, I got it, just chill. <laughs> what was that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm I definitely can't wait to use Crimson Avenger on more teams. He's gonna find himself on some of my stuff in the future. Um Nick Fury. If he works, he works. If he doesn't work, you've got a bunch of shield agents collecting dust on the side of your table. I mean, and look, like I was ready for him to work. <laughs> so, but yeah, and between like having two characters who could attack twice in a single turn in some cases, I there was so much that my team was capable of doing. Like the Captain America Resilient attacked twice, I think twice in the entire game where he ran and shot, and then I moved one and attacked. Uh, War Machine attacked twice almost every time he attacked. So honestly, like when my team is acting at peak efficiency, it's scary. Like, it's a scary sight to watch. So, um, like, like Amber said, everything worked for me, nothing worked for her, and that's the kind of game you guys just watched. Um, and then just, you know, uh, to kind of add on what Amber was saying, because she played against the team, she was tentative with her team. She was too tentative. She has a close-focused team while I had a range-focused team. If you have a close-focused team against a range-focused team... You don't have time to wait. You need to be in their face and make them sweat. It may not work. You may get lose a couple guys, but you got to be ready for that. Um, ultimately, had a lot of fun. Um, I don't think Amber had as much fun as I did. Um, but, you know, let's make it rain some more agents, shield agents, and be done with our game. <laughs>